In this video, we are going to demonstrate how to safely put on and take off personal protective equipment, or PPE, including face coverings, gloves, and gowns. More than one method of removal may be acceptable. What is important is that you are able to remove PPE without contaminating yourself. The CDC recommends the use of face coverings while in public. In California, the State Department of Health and the Governor have mandated the wearing of face coverings while in public and unable to maintain six feet of physical distancing. Wearing a cloth face covering while in public is an important practice to slow the spread of the coronavirus. Evidence shows that the virus can spread before people show symptoms and from people who have the virus and never show symptoms. A cloth face covering can be made of any fabric such as a scarf, a bandana, or an old t-shirt. The cloth face covering should reach above your nose and under your chin. It should fit snugly against your face and at the sides. Some face coverings have an inner pocket where a filter can slide in to provide greater protection. The wearing of face coverings does not mean that we can relax with the social distancing and hand washing. We cannot let the covering give us a false sense of safety. We must still maintain our six feet of distance from others as best we can, as well as frequently washing our hands. To put on a face covering, one, first clean your hands by washing them with soap and water for 20 seconds or using a hand sanitizer that contains at least 60% alcohol. Two, touch only the ends straps, or ear loops of your face covering. Three, put on the face covering by tying around the back of the head or securing the ear loops around the ears. Four, adjust the area around the bridge of the nose and under the chin for a proper snug fit. If the face covering has a flexible metal band over the bridge of the nose, bending it to fit the nose will help prevent the fogging of glasses. Five, Avoid touching your face while wearing the face covering. If you do touch your face, repeat good hand hygiene. To remove the face covering, one, first perform good hand hygiene. Two, carefully remove the covering without touching the front by untying the straps or removing the ear loops from the ears. Three, Fold it in half and immediately put the face covering into a bag or bin until it can be laundered. Four, again, wash your hands or use hand sanitizer. Five, after each use, the cloth face covering should be washed in hot water and detergent, then dried at a high heat cycle or air dried in the sun if possible. Six, if you plan to reuse the face covering later, for instance, when you are in the car and doing errands, carefully fold the mask by holding on to only the ear loop, place it on a paper towel or in a paper bag. Seven, if you are wearing a disposable procedure mask, which are now more readily available at retail stores, remove it using the above procedure and dispose of it immediately after use. Discard face coverings that no longer cover the nose or mouth, have stretched out, or have damaged straps or ties, cannot stay on the face, or have holes or tears in the fabric. Never share your face covering with another person. Gloves can be removed by more than one technique, but we're going to show you the glove in glove technique, which we find the easiest and safest. One. Pinch the outside of the glove near the wrist. Two, peel downwards, pulling the glove inside out. Three, with your ungloved hand, slide your finger under the wrist of the remaining glove. Four, again, peel downwards, turning the glove inside out. Five, discard the glove. Six, wash hands with soap and water for 20 seconds or use an alcohol-based hand sanitizer. Be sure to clean your wrists where the edges of the gloves were located. Seven, gloves should be removed and hand hygiene performed before removing a face covering. To remove the gown, 
One, untie all ties or unsnap all snaps. Two, some gown ties can be broken rather than untied. In that instance, break the ties gently, avoiding a forceful movement. Three, reach up to the shoulders and carefully pull or roll the gown down and away from the body so that the inside of the gown is the only area that you touch. Four, dispose of the used gown. Five, wash hands and wrists with soap and water for 20 seconds or use an alcohol-based hand sanitizer. It is important that we all take our roles seriously in protecting one another and ourselves from exposure to coronavirus as well as other infectious diseases. Practicing public health is everyone's responsibility.